Welcome to another episode of What's Your Forte, presented by Bandology. Bandology is a Canadian nonprofit dedicated to more music for more kids via education, collaboration, and community. Hello, and welcome to a special episode of What's Your Forte, where we explore the important power of music education. In today's episode, learn why pursuing a music major could be your next big step. I'm your host, Tamara Juknich, and today we have a very special guest joining us, Olivia Vaughn, who is a Bachelor of Arts graduate with an honors double major in English and Music from the University of Western Ontario. As well, Bandology had the honor of having Olivia as our program coordinator in 2022 and 2023. Get ready to be inspired as we dive into the world of pursuing music as a post-secondary major. So hello, Olivia, how are you doing today? I am doing great. Thank you very much for having me. Of course. Thank you very much for joining us and allowing me to interview you. Absolutely. Before we start into our more interview style questions, we do like to do something called a fast five that just lets me get to know you a little better as well as our audience. Um, So for our first fast five question, what is your favorite movie soundtrack? I think the first thing that comes to mind for me is the How to Train Your Dragon movies. They have such an incredible soundtrack. I used to listen to it all the time, like on bus rides to school and stuff. And so I feel like now when I watch the movies, I like just can like sing along to like the, literally just the soundtrack, like the instrumental music in the background because I just listen to it so much. Awesome. And what is an instrument you don't play, but wish you did? I've always wanted to play the violin. I feel like that's one that I've never like, really picked up like I feel like I picked up the guitar or the piano like I've tried them out but violin's one that like I feel like I would love to learn it but I don't I don't see that happening (laughs) I feel like it's hard to get your hand but harder to get your hands on a violin I think that is fair that is fair and what is your hidden talent when I was in high school I came like 10th in the school for a pie memorizing contest like like the digits of pie I think I hit like something like 45 I would say that is definitely a hidden talent because I could never (laughs) And what is your musical inspiration or just someone you listened to growing up? I think my biggest musical inspiration is very timely, um, but it's the musical Wicked. I think I was four. My parents, they went to go see it when it came to Toronto for the first time and they got me the soundtrack and I was, I was literally like four or five years old. I listened to it over and over. I learned all the songs. That's like the first time I really like got into music. Like that was my first memory of learning songs and like learning everything about it. So I feel like that whole soundtrack is... The reason why I'm like so invested in music. Awesome. So definitely plans to see the new movie soon or? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Opening night, I will be there. <laughs> awesome. And then our last Fast Five question is, what is your favorite concert that you've attended? This might be a bit of a recency kind of bias, but I went to see Sabrina Carpenter when she was in Toronto. And I feel like that was just one of the most like fun concerts I can remember seeing because she puts on like a whole show, like, like it all themed. And I feel like a lot of the shows I've been to recently are just, you know, typical kind of concerts. I remember leaving that and feeling like that was a really great show. No, I've seen all the TikToks. It looks so good. Yeah, the outfits, the whole like concept of it. It's so cool. That's awesome. So that is the end of our Fast Five questions. So we got to know you a little bit better. So moving into our more interview style questions, uh, what initially drew you to pursue a double major of English and music in university? Music is always been a huge part of my life since I was four and I was belting wicked songs in the car. I came from a very musical family so I was doing different I was doing theater lessons, piano lessons, voice lessons and then also playing an instrument at school. It was always such a big part of my life and I didn't necessarily want to find a career in music. I think I wasn't ready to give that up and I originally was going to study just English that was kind of my plan and then Western when I was doing my tours Western had a really great double major opportunity that other schools, it didn't seem as readily available because with music in a lot of schools, um, it's very kind of its own thing. Like it's either its own faculty or it's off on its own. And like a bachelor of music degree is very different from a bachelor of arts degree. It was in their brochures, like a double major with English and something else or music and something else. English has also always been, I've always been a huge reader. I like to write. And so that was always something I was also considering. And so when I saw that, I was just, I thought it would be such a great way to do the two things that I love. And for me, I liked having a bit more of a focus where instead of just taking a bunch of random courses that didn't have anything to do with each other, or I, I wouldn't really need the knowledge after that year. 
it you can kind of choose to make a focus and have that be a major and then it kind of reduces also the amount of choice because I get really overwhelmed with choice sometimes so trying to pick between a million different electives was difficult so yeah with western and with other schools I feel like it just made sense to kind of study English and study music and then kind of take a few extra courses here and there that's awesome. I'm very glad. It's a really cool program, too. I also haven't seen that in other universities, like being so readily offered, I guess, and like marketed. Um, so it's a really cool program. Um, and can you share any pivotal moments or experiences during your studies at Western that solidified your passion for music? I think just being around so many people that were similar, like had similar mindsets um, and being around so much music making, like concerts happening all the time and just that kind of thing. I think my program was very academic um, because I wasn't in the bachelor of music program. So taking a lot of courses on like the history and the theory, less so on performing an actual like practical instrument playing. When you're there, it's more than like your high school music program of maybe 40 or 50 people. It's, you know, four full years and more of students. I was just so inspired by it how much hard work people around me were putting into their music I feel like that was one thing I kind of struggled with was like really dedicating time to my instrument dedicating time to my craft and just seeing how many hours these people would put into the practice rooms and not because they had to but because they wanted to because they wanted to get so much better and so I think it just I, even just being a small part of that like I, I wasn't too involved in in the orchestras or the the, the choirs but just being around it and being um, in that environment was really it just made, reminded me why I chose to do that and why I didn't want to like give up that part of my life. And what challenges did you face as a double major and how did you overcome them? When you're doing a double major and almost all of your courses are directly related to your degree, it does mean that they are a little bit more weighted. And I was also a working student, so working at the library. And so I I found that that was one thing where there, I felt like it was a little bit more pressure, but it was also something that I love to study. Like I just enjoyed the content matter. So I feel like that was like making that choice to study something that I was passionate about versus something that I thought would like make me a lot of money down the line or like something that I wasn't necessarily as passionate about. I never dreaded like doing readings or, or, you know, for music, you do a lot of listening or a lot of watching of things. Like it's always you know, it's something you have to get done, but it's also something that like I enjoyed while I was doing it. And so I think that was one thing that really pulled me through. And I think being busy also makes you really good at time management. And I think my old music teacher used to say, if you need something done, give it to someone who's busy because like they just know how to organize their time and they know how to like prioritize things. And, you know, I was working when I wasn't studying and, and I was still, still made it through in the end. So I think um, studying something that I was passionate about was what really helped me. No, that's awesome. I'm very glad. Um, and how do you think studying English in combination with music has contributed to your personal and professional growth? I've always kind of thought that having a Bachelor of Arts degree is really special. I think it makes you really well-rounded. Um, they focus a lot more on kind of the soft skills than like the specific knowledge. And so being able to write well, being able to communicate, reading comprehension, like that kind of thing, like it seems silly, and it's, but it really, when you're kind of going into professional careers, that's something that they're going to expect that you already know how to do. Um, and sometimes, you know, if you're in a certain different program, that that's not necessarily as high of a priority. And you might not even realize it when you come out the other end that um, it's like you might be lacking, you might need to do some work in that area. So I think just having that Bachelor of Arts background makes it really versatile. I mean, there's a lot of jobs that are doable with the kind of background that I have. And then with music as well, you learn such like collaboration and like how important it is to be on top of your own stuff because you're working in a group. And so, you know, making sure that you're coming prepared every day and you have all your stuff figured out and then bring that to like whatever group setting you're in. The music teaches you that so well. Like I think just playing on a team and and playing in a band, you you learn how important it is to be individually strong, but then willing to and open to working with others. Uh, yeah, I think just every day in the office, that background knowledge, that knowledge of like getting to know different people and being able to help them out definitely came from that from music and, and art background. Awesome. And then wrapping up our interview style questions, um, what advice would you give to someone considering pursuing music as a major in university? Yeah, I think if music is something you're passionate about and you're not sure about whether you want to study it or um, you think it might not be the right choice for you, I think there are a lot of schools, like I said earlier, that kind of offer the ability to study multiple things and I think music teaches you so many important things I think it adds so much value to a person's life and so 
I think if it's something you're passionate about, there are ways to do it like with something else. You don't have to, you know, only do music or only do whatever other field you might want. The ability to customize degrees or to study things together is something that other school at Western does it really well, but I know there are other schools that do as well. And so I think, you know, don't give up on that. Like it doesn't have to be a career. It doesn't have to be something that you think you're going to pursue and, and make money off of because it'll teach you other things. Having it in my life for that, those four years in the community that you build and the people that are around you and how inspi inspiring it is. I think it can't be counted out. And um, if it, it's something you shouldn't necessarily give up on, but then there's also other ways to be involved in music if it's not something you study as well. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Very inspiring. Uh, so as we wrap up today's episode, I want to extend a very heartfelt thank you to today's guest and my friend, Olivia Vaughn, for sharing her experiences and wisdom with us. Whether you're considering a future in music or simply appreciate its profound impact, I hope this episode has offered valuable insights and encouragement. Until next time, we hope you keep listening, learning, and pursuing your passions. This is Tamara Jukunic signing off from this very special episode of What's Your Forte. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you heard, you can learn more about our organization at bandology.ca, which features information about music education, advocacy and research, and our workshops, community events, and music camps. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube at Bandology CA, and find more episodes of What's Your Forte wherever you get your podcasts.